All right, guys, Jeremy of the France, Backstage Entertainment. We just had number three. Didn't think number four was going to come this quick, but hey, number three was in January. And we're talking about interviews, not kids. That's true. Yes. Because I'm only on number two in June, so. Oh, yeah, yeah baby. That's right. So, <laughs> all right, we are giving the fans a. Okay. That's we're, backstage. That is. We're giving fans a backstage look this time because we are doing a, a different kind of interview style. Because we just met with you in January. We're a sit down, kind of, you know, back and yeah. forth. And you did the BSC box and stuff, which we might get that out a little later. But we'll, we'll, So we're going to show you guys what it's like. We're at Laser Fest uh, here in Des Moines, Iowa at the Wells Fargo Arena. Laser 103 is putting it on. So before the even doors open everything we're going to show fans what it's like back here and what you guys do to you know kind of get ready you got so it. let's just kind of walk around we'll show the fans what's going on but it's, it's pretty exciting yeah i said I, want, <laughs> I wanted to i wanted to do a different interview style with you because this is number four already so this is something yeah. a little different you don't want to be boring you got any jokes <laughs> i always got jokes no good ones okay so we just kind of go with it you right. know okay so we will we'll ask a few questions here right. and then go I'm back ready. and forth. Since this is our number four and we like to have more of a fun interview style, is there best and worst interviews that you can think of that, because you guys have done so many. And oh yeah. What are, I mean, like, what are some that stick out in your mind? Usually the ones that stick out in your mind are because they're the worst. Okay. And that is when somebody's like, uh, do you remember the, um, the Chris Farley uh, SNL thing where he like can't, you know, he doesn't really ever ask a question. Yep, yep. That happens a lot. Okay. You know, they're like, remember, yeah, so that. man, yeah. uh, you know, or like they have no idea of a new record and they're like, when are you guys ever going to put out a new record? And you're like, well, it came out last month and it's kind of a humiliating. That's right. Those are the ones that stick out. Okay. <laughs> we'll keep walking around. Let's show the fans quick. Let's turn around, turn the camera around. We'll show. So security is kind of getting in place right now. They're Security. Setting up. Yep, we got the soundboard and everything over here as well. Obviously, nobody, none of the fans are in here yet. The backstage but. is actually pretty boring in reality. But, but you want to keep out this pretense that it's like amazing. Exactly. Because you're like, oh man, can I get backstage? And like, we'll sometimes you're like, well, way. there actually is no backstage. But no. you can come check out um, the dirt patio that we got ready on. That's right. So today, I mean, it, we have rooms. Yeah, we'll kind of head back around this way, show maybe fans catering's over this way and stuff too. Yes, and, and you know what I did today? Behind stage, I had to hang up my wet clothes from last night. Okay. So that's how professional we keep this. I was asking, uh, <laughs> I was asking your tour manager Kyle about, you know, hey, what should I give John Crab about this time? And he said, you know, how about uh, talk to him about the weather? Because every kind of major thing that's been happening around the U.S., <laughs> you guys have been been stuck in. He said yeah. an ice storm in Texas, and uh, you know, just rainstorms and all that. So, how is weather, especially <laughs> today? I mean, they moved the venue inside because of the rain and everything. Yeah. But, What's weather really a factor if you are playing outside? Yeah, you know, I mean, it, it's still, f especially like festivals like this are still fun when they're, just being outside is just fun, you know, and it feels like summertime. Yeah. But yeah, when it's like 50 degrees and raining and you're freezing and sweating, it's just yeah. kind of, oh, another mud fest, you know. Right. Um, but hey, a show's a show, mm -hmm. you know. But um, we have had some crazy weather things, yes. Yeah. Craziest one one time, let's see, I, I don't remember where it was, but it was on this thing, like every every seven years, mm -hmm. there's a certain like bug okay. that, you know, they come back, and then after that year, they don't come back for another seven full years. Right. And I remember playing, and, the, and it was just, it was the light, it was just nothing but bugs. It looked like some kind of like horror film. Yeah. And I remember singing, and, and you're singing your mouth wide open, you're swallowing bugs, getting protein. That's right. And um, playing some rock and roll. So. Yeah, so now we've entered catering so the fans can see they haven't even said that. I don't know if this is catering or not. Is this, I think this might be, a, uh, maybe this is like staff catering because I saw a different oh, catering room earlier. Yeah, exactly. So yeah, that's, that's the thing too is they have multiple rooms. You know, For that's something this. like this probably is just so much staffing. Yeah. yeah big not festival. for a normal skill show. We're not huge. Well, and you, every Hot interview, dogs. I think every interview <laughs> we have with you, you guys are always talking about how you're the biggest band people have never heard of. Yeah, no, people do not know Skillet, yes. <laughs> <laughs> remember last interview, too, I, I, I presented a number to you. It's going to be different this time, but last time it was 4.8 million. Do you remember what that was about? Um, I, no, I don't. Facebook. 
Remember your Oh, your yes, followers. we did talk about that. Yeah, so yeah. I, mean, you, I mean, you guys have some people that like you. So. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> you know, I mean, I, I always kind of joke, you know, de degrading humor is always the funniest, you know, but yeah, Skillet is one of those names that uh, maybe when we're playing, people are like, oh, I know that song, or, or, or people are always like, you know what, I have a friend whose kid loves you guys. It'll be a lot of that kind of stuff, you know, but, um, but we're still getting out there. Yeah. Playing with awesome bands tonight. Oh, exactly. Yeah, and this is a Sony great night. And the Offspring are here tonight. And I mean, yeah. who at the festival? Who are some even favorite bands or even friends of your guys's that you you have here? Here today? Yeah. Oh, this okay. I don't know if you meant like a, in general. Let's see. I've never played with the Offspring. Never played with Queens of Stone Age. Um, we are friends with Theory. We toured with them um, about three years ago with right. uh, Stone Sour. Awesome tour. Mm -hmm. So I got to see some of the guys already, and it was cool because we haven't seen each other in several years. Right. Um, you know, TFK is playing today, yep. and we're really good friends with them. We've toured together two or three times. Mm -hmm. And um, Adelie's Way, we've only played with a couple of times, yeah. but, you know, we're kind of like, uh, we know each other a little bit, you know. Exactly. Yeah, and I like this. I lo I'm loved their, I don't know, it was actually their first single they ever did, Invincible, it was called, but I loved that song. Yeah. That was yep. a great one. What are the songs right now off your new record? Because I was in June, so it's, you know, almost have a year under its belt. Yeah. What are the surprise hits that you think fans are, like, singing along with you guys hmm. or, or just you even heard? Because you don't, obviously don't play the whole record on a set. Yeah, but. you know, I'm not exactly sure. You know, I suspected at that time that people would like Not Gonna Die, which was our second radio release. I kind of always felt like that would be the song that people would um, connect with, and, and that has been the case. Um, so I'm not really sure if there's one that's been like a surprise, you know what I mean? Yeah. The last record, Awaken Alive, was the surprise. Right. I didn't expect that. Um, this record, I was like, well, oh, they like to Awaken Alive, they might lighten this too, you know? <laughs> that's right. I think, I'm, I think I'm give up guessing. Yeah. I think a good one, I mean, that's even kind of towards the end of the record, is what I believe. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So thank that's you. another one that's gotten some legs, I think, too. And mm. so. Well, thank you, man. Yeah. Is it something where, because that's, you know, towards the end of the record, is that something you guys carefully plan out and just think, okay, I want to have a really good song at the end of the record? Or is, it, is, is song placement a key? You know, song placement used to be a lot more of a key because, um, you know, <laughs> they used to have to have a really good song for one and four, and then you flip the tape over, okay. and, and five. <laughs> and then it became a big thing, like you put all your hits up front you know, on CDs, one, two, three. Mm -hmm. Now, because of iTunes, it doesn't matter that much. Right. So what I try to do is, is give a good ebb and flow to the record, you know, right. where there are too many songs that sound similar next to each other, because yeah. people are buying singles and yeah. Spotify, so. Um, but I'm glad you like that one. I like, that one sounds like Skillet to me, so yeah. um, that, that works. Okay. Well, let's, here, let's step to the side over here. Like I said, we had time, and we we're kind of waiting because you guys have a radio interview soon. Yes, and this, is, and this is backstage. You see how is. dreary it is? There's, uh, there's walls. <laughs> and, uh, you know. <laughs> we got the guys at Laser. Thanks for yes. putting the show on, guys. <laughs> Laser. So, yeah. It, oh, he's really back. Crazy. He's back. How you doing, bud? Yep. I mean, see you in a couple months. You all right? Got a little skinnier. All right. Yep. Trimming down a bit. It is. Yeah, that's true. So, I, can you remember the questions you picked last time? Because if you get if you get another one, just uh, throw it back. I'd say. So let's try this out. Okay. We're going again. We're going again. Oh yeah. What's the craziest thing a fan offered to do for you backstage? And we're, we hey, gotta, everybody. Yeah, say hi, everybody. You guys are in the interview. Who are these people? <laughs> <laughs> you know. Let's see. The craziest thing people have offered probably can't say or should it say one or the other. It's um, got to be kind of weird because you tour with your wife. So I do tour with my <laughs> wife, and people have offered things to us together, which you probably shouldn't say backstage. Um, let me say, maybe I'll, I'll change the question and say, okay. the best things that I've appreciated people offered is tacos. Tacos. Yes, we were doing a show recently, and there was a guy that owned a taco shop. And he came at the end of the night, they let him backstage, he had a, a giant bag of tacos. Okay. And fish tacos, actually. Okay. They were murder. They were murder? Murder, <laughs> they were <laughs> murder. <laughs> so that was, that was pretty awesome. I remember reading too, like, I think it was on your Wikipedia page a long time ago, like when we did our first interview, and you're a huge Dr. Pepper guy. Is that oh, still the that's, you see how serious I got? <laughs> yeah. 
Yes, you show, show up with a, a, a Dr. Pepper and, you know, it's friends yeah. for life. If you ever meet John, bring him Dr. Pepper. <laughs> that you, is my one true addiction. You prefer, like, the fountain Dr. Fountain. Pepper? Fountain. Oh, it's different, isn't it? It's, yeah. It's it, it tastes different. You can get more, too. Yeah. Sip it a little bit, refill. Yeah. Come on, son. Okay. So, let's try <laughs> another one. Okay. Put these down. What's the craziest thing you've had to do? Ever? Ever. Just in life. Oh, gosh. Just in life. Hmm. Craziest thing I've ever had to do. Well, one time, this might not sound crazy to other people, but, you know, everybody has things they're good at and things they suck at. Okay. I'll tell you what I suck at. I am not handy. Okay. So I can't fix engines and yeah. things like that. And so getting on a, on a, a van, p being in a van, you, you have to kind of learn a little bit about right. that because you're always having flat tires. Mm -hmm. One time, the craziest thing we had to do, we were driving down and all of a sudden, uh, we hear, for, heard a bump and the trailer was riding next to the van. It had come unhitched. Apparently, the, the ball that, you know, the hitch goes on, yeah, yeah. Has something happened, snapped, and that sucker came off. It was going down next to us, and we had to try to get as much out of the trailer as we could to try to lift it back up. Yeah. And, uh, and this was on the interstate. So we were in the, the median. Right. So luckily the thing, you know, went next to us, and it some ver veered er, over in the median. Okay, so nobody's so, hurt, nothing. Uh, nobody got hurt, which okay. I just can't believe. Yeah. So there we are, we had to um, pick up our trailer, a whole bunch of dudes, and mm -hmm. <laughs> I guess it's not that crazy, but it's kind of crazy well, for yeah, me. It was kind of scary. Oh, well, yeah. I mean, what's going through your head right there? Like, oh, my God. Well, you just, think, you just don't want somebody, I mean, you're in the van, you think you're going to be okay. You don't want anybody to get hurt, yeah. you know, and trailer going to some family's car and, you know, hurt a kid or something. Oh, exactly. One time our bus ran into a venue in Minneapolis, okay. into an arena, ran into the side of the arena. So, but I didn't do that. <laughs> okay, no. just clear your name right there, right? Yeah. Okay. Now until number five, which who knows could be any. Could be in soon. three months the way we've been doing these. That's right. You guys are well. That's the thing. You guys tour all the time. We do. We tour a lot. And you come back to the Midwest a lot, so that's awesome. I love it. Mm -hmm. Okay. What are we leaving with the fans this time? What are we leaving with you? Hmm. A rock show. Okay. Um. I just very excited about today. Yeah. yeah, this is my first uh, show of this year that is kind of like festival, you know, I call them festivals with a load of these bands and it's going to be an awesome night, man. Yep. Yeah, I can't wait. Okay. Yeah. A couple of bands you haven't played with yet either. So. That's right. Keep okay. them separated. That's right. <laughs> That's Got it. Old school. That is. That is. All right, guys, once again, John, Skillet, check them out. Yes. Watch our other three interviews. Number five will be coming <laughs> shortly. Hey everyone, become a fan of Backstage Entertainment on Facebook and enter in contests to win autographed prizes from the bands and entertainers we interview. By joining our page, you can also contact us to submit your own questions into the BSC box. And make sure to subscribe to us on YouTube to see all of our interviews and backstage footage from the shows. From Backstage Entertainment, I'm Jeremy LaFrance.